And this one is uh, the dermis is filled with tumor that's invading between the collagen. And we go closer. There's spindle cells making fascicles, and they have pink cytoplasm. Actin and Desmond will be positive, although actin is not specific. I don't really like that that much for this because it stains a lot of stuff, and there's atypical cells. So this is a, a leiomyosarcoma of the dermis. Pilar type, just like pilar leiomyomas, leiomyosarcoma of the dermis infiltrates between collagen. It should not be smooth and circumscribed. If it is in the dermis, then you have to rule out metastasis because uh, leiomyosarcoma is from internal organs like the uterus or the retroperitoneal uh, blood vessels. They can metastasize the skin sometimes. Sarcomas rarely metastasize the skin, but when they do, leiomyosarcoma is the most common one to do so. When they're confined to the dermis, though, primary leiomyosarcoma of the skin that's in the dermis has a very good prognosis, essentially basically zero risk of metastasis from what's been reported. So some people say we should not even call these leiomyosarc, we should call them atypical intradermal smooth muscle neoplasm. Um, whatever name you do, I do usually add a comment that, to the treating physician that these are, are very, very indolent. They need to be excised, but the prognosis is excellent. And it's important you tell the patient that because if they go Google leiomyosarcoma, everything they find on the internet is going to be about uterine leiomyosarcoma, which is much more common than these skin ones, and they're going to freak out because it's much more serious disease. So remember, tell your patients that.